Hi guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make these candy cane sugar cookies. These are, I'm gonna be quite honest with you, they are kind of a pain in the butt to make, so I don't make them very often. I also only did half of the recipe for today. Since they are kind of difficult to make and shape out, at least for me personally, I did not want to do an entire recipe's worth. So here's just a quick little overview of all of the ingredients. I will go in depth in detail about the measurements and exactly what you'll need um, as we go through and mix everything together. These last two are vanilla and peppermint extract. Um, I know my camera didn't focus very well on those. First thing we're gonna do is add some butter. You want room temperature butter. My butter was not room temperature, um, so I melted it in the microwave. I only used one cup of butter and then I also used a half a cup of powdered sugar along with one egg and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Those are all of the wet ingredients for this recipe, and so I'm going to mix those up in my electric mixer. And then I'm gonna put the dry ingredients in a separate bowl to start out, um, and I am going to mix together the flour and the salt, those are the only dry ingredients. I'm using one and a half cups of flour and one fourth a teaspoon of salt. And then once everything is mixed together evenly, you're going to add your dry ingredients into your mixer with your wet ingredients and, and mix everything together. And then once it is like a sticky doughy consistency, we are going to split the dough in half. Half of it we are going to add peppermint extract to and dye red, and the other half we are just going to leave plain vanilla flavored and leave it white. adding one half of a teaspoon of peppermint extract to give it that pepperminty flavor and then just add as much red food dye as you want. I started off with I think 10 drops, I wasn't really counting um, and then after I turned the mixer on I realized it wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be so I think I added about 10 more drops until it was like a very hot pink. And then once it's all mixed together and it's the color that you want it to be, um, you just scrape off everything off of the mixer and pop both bowls into the fridge for about an hour. You can leave them in up to 24 hours, um, but they need to be in at least an hour so that way you can shape them easily. Then once they've been in there for about an hour, you can preheat your oven to 375. And we are gonna take the dough, and I'm starting with the white dough, and we are going to roll it into little worm-shaped pieces. This would be a lot easier to do on like a countertop or something, um, but I was trying to get a good angle for you guys to see on camera. This is the hardest part, is getting your candy canes into candy cane shapes. Um, and then I'm going to take a piece of red dough and roll that out and try to make them the same size or as close to the same size as you can. And then you're going to put the two pieces together and kind of wrap them around each other and make it into a hook shape 
to make your candy cane. And then you put it down on the cookie board and as you can see, um, when I got it on like a flat surface, when I went to put it on the cookie sheet, I was able to shape it a lot better, but it's still kind of hard to shape. And then here is just a speed through of me shaping all of the dough. Um, it took me a very long time to do this and the cookies didn't come out very pretty. They were all different shapes and sizes, um, which is why I don't make this recipe very often. And then once you have all your cookies shaped out, you put them in the oven for only 10 minutes. I ended up having to add an extra two minutes to my cookies because the bigger ones weren't cooked completely. And as you can see when they are done, the smaller ones kind of have, they're not burnt, but they do have like a crispier edge to them since all of my cookies were different sizes. So try your best to make them all the same size. I obviously have a harder time doing that. But here is how they came out. The kids love them. They are so delicious and chewy and really, really yummy. I love that subtle peppermint taste that they have. And yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.